Guys, I've got the Reese 99 Micro Servo Winch and the Element Trail Gladiator. I call it the Trail Gladiator because I put a Gladiator body on a Trail Runner. Show you guys the servo, take it outside, take a look. And here we go right here. Now this has the hard plastic uh, plate. I use one of those as a line guide to keep it right up here into the spool or the drum. It just simply mounts down using some two millimeter bolts. Nice and simple. This is plug and play, so it runs off the BEC of your ESC. So make sure you're good to go. I'm just simply running a regular 1080 on this and it's powering the 422 HD V2 servo and this. So let's get this thing outside and see what it's got. Okay, so we're gonna get this thing into a winch situation soon. Let's just see where we end up with this at. Well, hey, 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 look at there. I think we're all set. Now I've got to get this thing out and all that. I'm using the GT5, so I've got to kind of get this a little quick here. Right, get that loose. I want to flip this because working one hand is going to be kind of interesting. I'm going to go all the way out to about right there okay here we go <laughs> this is quite the challenge now i got to grab my land anchor and get that thing set up okay so here we are got it all set up see that arm it's uh not so happy wow that picked up the back end of this thing well Nice job. Oh, nice save. Okay, let's get up something pretty gnarly here. How about we head across over the twin ridges? We're just simply going to ease up on it, and then I'm going to set the winch up. It is hooked up and ready to go. Going to winch in and drive. <laughs> let's give this thing a serious test here this should pull the front real hard up against it and hopefully get me across it that was awesome now we went something just a little crazy i don't know if that little glued down rock is going to hold but let's see what happens Oh, 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 oh. I'm going to burn it up. That little switch is hard to get. Wow, that was awesome. And we keep on winching. Nice. We got hook it. Beautiful. Another climb. <laughs> this thing is awesome. Okay, we're back to this. Uh, this time, I'm gonna. I got a different hook spot, and hopefully, we can actually get this. Oh. oh, I broke it. Oh, wow. Woo. Wow, that is awesome. Guess I get to work on it.
You know, sometimes I go in to test out certain things and I have a preconceived idea of what it's going to do, how it's going to do it, and whether it's going to survive, you know, certain tests. This right here went above and beyond my expectations. It's such a small little servo with massive power. Um, I can tell you guys right now, when I build a vehicle for a servo winch, I'll never build for a large one again. This right here, I kid you not, you guys saw it. You guys saw what it did with this truck right here. Uh, hey, <laughs> the darn thing done great right off of the receiver. So now it's good for 8.4 volts and I believe that BEC was actually is actually set to 7.4 or something like that. So it is turned up on the 1080. So yeah, I got to admit that little dude is awesome. I expected maybe, okay, it's so small, the tiny little bearings. If I really stall it out, they'll just shatter. You know, which on that radio, trying to do it with that little uh, swing switch deal underneath there, uh, not the best of controls for that. I prefer the GT3C with the momentary. That's, that's, that, that's the best way for me to actually control a winch. So this will probably get the GT3C in it. To replace it now that it's got the winch but it had the gt5 okay let it run but guys uh hey it and my whole point of that what i'm trying to get at here is uh there was one point in the video where i actually couldn't get to the switch in time and it actually stayed stalled for four or five seconds now if you stall a motor like that under full load which it absolutely was you can absolutely burn things up so I've got to assume in that board is a current limiter. So that probably saved that servo for that particular uh, uh, mess up by me, by me. So anyway, guys, uh, this thing, it did good. I'm really happy with it. So check that description for links for this guy right here. Make sure you check that out because this little dude, yeah. When I Like I just said, I know I'm a little, I'm a little bit excited here, but... Just like I said, I'll build for this over a large servo winch any day. Guys, check that description. Make sure you're subscribed. And thank you all for watching. If you guys like what you see, make sure you're subscribed. Hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. If you really, really like what you see, consider clicking on that join button down below. With that, you can actually become a channel member. Members get early viewing of many of the videos. And you know... A little bit more personalized. Guys, thank you all for watching.